Okay, in this video we're going to be uh, calculating the final GM of a cargo stowed uh, that we're uh, going to lift from a pier and stow onto our ship using a ship's crane, our own crane, not a shore crane. So this problem is given to us. It's uh, from one of the homework problems, one of the in-class problems we, we did. Uh, so it says you're making uh, a lift with the, a heavy lift with your jumbo boom. So here's the jumbo boom. This is our vessel here. Okay, this is a pier. That's a weight that we're going to lift with our jumbo boom. Uh, this is a fender. Okay. And uh, anyway, uh, so we're going to lift with our jumbo boom. Uh, the vessel displaces 8,390 8, tons. That's before the lift. And then we're going to lift a 40 ton weight. That weight is on the pier. And the distance from our center line to the weight, to the center of the weight on the pier, is 55 feet. Okay? And uh, the head of the boom from the keel, from the keel up to the uh, head block, okay, of the boom is 110 feet. Um, and uh, the question becomes, what is the uh, kg going to be? What, what's the uh, uh, we're, once we uh, lift this weight from here, we're going to bring it over here and we're going to put it at a kg of 45 feet above the keel. And uh, so they give us a little more information that says when we take a strain on this weight, the vessel is going to incline, it's going to list to three and a half degrees. And the final question is, what's the GM of the cargo stowed? Well, turns out we're going to have to do this problem in a couple of steps. First, we're going to use the, um, the formula that we got from the uh, inclining experiment. And we're going to use that to calculate the GM of the vessel when we lift the weight. And then we're going to... Um, use GG to calculate what the GM is going to be after we shift it. So let's just look at it one step at a time. So when we start this, here's our center of gravity. This is our metacenter, okay? So the green dot is our center of gravity, and the red dot is the metacenter. So this vessel has uh, a GM, okay? Now you can imagine that when, as soon as we lift this block, okay, uh, this 40-ton weight, the vessel is going to feel it right here at this head block, okay? So that's going to make G go up. But that weight is 55 feet off the center line. So not only is G going to go up because, you know, we're, you know, we're creating a moment here uh, up, up, up at that height, but we're also going to be having an off-center weight. So G is going to shift up, and it's also going to shift laterally. So let's look at that, okay? So we have our original GM from the green dot to the red dot. And as soon as we lift, you can see that G, this was the original, this is where it is now. So G shifted from here to there, okay? So this is our GM now. And it turns out we can calculate this GM based on the information given in the problem. And so this, uh, this new G, this G prime M, is equal to the weight of this weight, the distance from the center line that that weight is, the total displacement of the vessel, uh, and then uh, multiplied by the, uh, 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 the, the tangent of the angle. So we've been given the angle of list. We know that the weight is 55 feet off the center line. We know our displacement before. We know our weight here. We know that this is 110 feet. So we actually have all the data. The weight is 40. The distance is 55 feet off the center line to starboard. Our original displacement was 83.90. We just added 40 tons when we lifted with our jumbo boom. And the angle of list was 3.5 degrees. So when we do all that, uh, we solve that, we get 4.27 feet. That is the new GM from the red dot M to G prime. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put that weight on the vessel. So we're going to, you know, bring our boom in. Okay, now at this point, by shifting it from, from here to there, I didn't change the vertical component of kg. However, since the weight is now over the center line, I, uh, I brought that weight over the center line and I, I lost my inclination. All right, so I no longer have an angle of list. Well, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift that weight down. Well, as soon as that weight touches the deck, it's no longer felt at 110 feet. Now it's going to be felt at the deck height which in this problem we said, you know, was 45 feet. So what has, what's going to happen here is that G is going to shift from G prime to G double prime. So this was where G was before the lift. This is where G was uh, when the weight was suspended at 110 feet. 
Now this is going to be the G when the vessel is on the deck at 45 feet above the keel. Okay, so essentially what we've done is we've lowered a weight from 110 feet okay, to 45 feet, and now we can use the GG formula for that. So GG is the weight times distance divided by displacement. Well, we know what the weight is. It was 40 tons. We know the distance. It's 110 feet minus 45 feet, okay? From the keel to the top was 110. From the keel to 40, 45, okay, it's 45. So this is going to be our distance here, okay? Uh, and our total displacement, again, will be those two values. So there it is, 40, 110, okay? And that means that our shift of G is 0.31 feet. And since we lowered it, okay, that means that that is going to be a shift of 0.3 feet down. Well, if we want to now calculate this new GM, here's Metacenter, okay, here is our uh, G double prime, M, well, that new GM is really this GM plus this shift of G. So it would be the GM that we calculated from this step, 4.27 feet, and now we also shifted from the blue dot to the purple dot, that was our shift of G, 0.31 feet down, so all we have to do now is add those, 4.27 plus 0.31, 4.58, and that is the GM of the vessel with the cargo stowed.